Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in our previous video, we have seen how we can get the uh, dynamic params using the use params hook. Now, for example, let's say that when you pass a query string data, how we can get this query string data. So let's try to see it. For example, let's say that uh, in our city item, so this is our city item jar JSX file, right? So in our city item, let's say that I want to pass the latitude and longitude also. So right now, so uh, here I can use lat is equal to, sorry, lat is equal to dollar of ct dot latitude. So we will be having this one ampersand long is equal to dollar of ct dot longitude. So we are passing the latitude and longitude also. Now if you go to our cities data and if I click on this one, let's refresh this page again. And here, if I try to click on this one, so here I am able to see lat and long data also as a query parameter. Now I want to catch this query parameter both in the map container so that I can show the marker at that particular latitude or longitude. And also here also I need to get those details. So how can I get these details? So let's try to go to the map container. So map container, right? Map container dot JSX. So this is our map container file. So in order to get these query params. So we have a another hook available that is nothing but use search params. So I will try to show you in our uh, tutorial or uh, in our uh, navigation. So use search params. So if I try to click on this one, so where is this available use params or as yeah, use search params. So use search params is used to read and modify the query string in the URL for the current location. So it will be used to both read and modify the query string. So we'll try to see both the things how we can do it. And here you will be getting it as a state like a array. So first one consists of the data and the second one method is available to modify the data. So use search params. And for this one to get these search params, uh, how we can get it? Let's try to see. Okay. Now if you go here, so in map container, I want to get these search params. Okay. So here I can use constant search params comma set search params. So you will be having both the things and use search params. And this is the method we will be having. And if I try to do console.log and if I try to do console.log search params and now if I try to see the output for this one. If I go inspect the element and if I refresh this page, let's remove this one. And in the console, if I refresh this page, yeah, we are getting this there. It has a use URL search params. So for this one, we can get we can get it using the using the key get. So here, what I can do is search params for so here, I can get this one in such way that constant latitude is equal to search params dot get of lat so this is the name which we are using in the query string and the constant longitude is equal to search params dot get of long we are getting the data for this one also now if i try to uh, console the latitude and also the longitude longitude okay now let's see whether we are able to see the output or not. If I try to show you the output, refresh this page. And now we are able to get this data 40 and the minus 74, which is in the URL. So now let's try to uh, show this one in our map container. I will try to show you in our map container. What I will try to do is so here. I will use in such a way that lat is equal to latitude. Okay. Latitude. Lat and another one is long is equal to longitude okay that's it so we are able to show this one latitude and longitude and in the city item details also in the cities also so if you want to show this one means so just you can copy these things and here in our uh, what i can say is cities list i can go here and i can paste it here directly and we need to import this uh, search params. Oh, sorry, search params. Okay. Sorry, sorry, not in here. Uh, we need to go in the city details. City 
details so here also we need to get this data so here i can paste it here and uh, we need to import it use such params okay and now here i will be showing the output for this one so here i will just i will have in such a way that do lat is equal to latitude okay and another one is long so long is equal to longitude okay that's it now if you try to see see in the both the places we will be able to show the output that is nothing but uh, what i want to say is hey, why why it is not coming again again problem came so here we are able to see both the latitude longitude in both the map container component and also the city details component also we are able to see now if i modify this one in the map container will the data present in the city details also will get updated let's try to see in map container or jsx so here i will be having a button just for the time for, uh, for the code i will be using so change i will use button and here on click on click is equal to so here i will write the method set search params of and i will try to send the value uh, lat is equal to 1 and also long is equal to 2 okay so this is the data which i will try to send so here when i click on this button automatically wherever the data we are using the lat and long these in the query parameters wherever we are using it needs to be updated so if i try to click on this one see automatically here also it got updated and here also it got updated and uh, as the and as usual here in the what i want to say in the query string parameters also in the query string params also it has got updated so this is how we will be capturing the query search params so query parameters using the use search params hook now if i try to click on these cities and if i click on another one so we are able to capture the id and also the details also we are able to capture it if i change it here automatically the data is getting updated everywhere wherever we are trying to use this query params thing and uh, this is what we are trying to implement it so now what we have learned so query params and also the use param yes, use params hook and also use search params hook these both are things we have learned it so these both the things uh, is very much useful for us to get the dynamic params and also to get the query search params so here in our app.jsx so this one we have achieved it through the route path city query and we are loading the city details so this is what we are loading the city details so this is this is the thing which we are trying to do it now hope you understood about this concept what i will do is i will commit this entire code in a new branch that is video iphone 131 okay and i will commit this code so search params hook so whoever may be if they want to have uh, so if you want to refer the code or anything means the github repository url is provided in the description below of this video so you can go there and you can clone the uh, code and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you